The five T's of Hepatitis A. Type. Hepatitis A is a viral disease. It affects the liver and is generally mild and self-limiting. Hepatitis A does not cause chronic liver disease and most people will have lifelong immunity following infection. Hepatitis A is endemic in regions where there is poor sanitation and access to clean drinking water is limited. These include countries in the Americas, Africa, the Middle East, the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. Transmission route. Hepatitis A is highly infectious and is transmitted by the fecal oral route when somebody ingests food or water that is contaminated, either through poor personal hygiene or by sewage water entering the food chain. It can also be transmitted through oral or anal sex. The incubation period is 14 to 28 days, with symptoms then ranging from fever, malaise, loss of appetite, nausea and abdominal pain, and jaundice. Death is very rare due to hepatitis A infection. Young children usually have very mild symptoms or no symptoms at all. The severity of the disease increases with age. Treatment and prevention. To try to prevent infection, travelers should try to ensure good personal hygiene and sexual hygiene, safe access to clean water, good hygiene standards when handling food. There are a number of very effective inactivated pre-exposure vaccines. These may be given as a monodose or in a combined vaccine. Once a primary course is complete, the vaccine offers long-term protection. There is no specific treatment for hepatitis A other than supportive treatment. Recovery can take months. Traveler's risk. The groups that have been identified as higher risk of infection from hepatitis A are those staying with local population in an endemic region, long stay travellers to areas with poor sanitation, those with existing medical conditions, men who have sex with men, those who inject drugs, and those who are at occupational risk. Take home message. Hepatitis A is a viral liver infection that is endemic in areas of poor sanitation. It is usually passed on by contaminated food and water. Symptoms are generally mild, especially in children, and death is very rare. In order to prevent infection, all travellers should ensure they practice good personal and sexual hygiene, only consume clean water, only consume food that has been prepared with good hygiene standards. A highly effective vaccine is available that offers long-term protection.